What's up everybody, Golf of America man today with your tip before you skip. If you evacuate for a hurricane, turn your power off. The food ain't worth it. Don't believe me, don't knock it till you try it. Morning everybody, Golf of America man reporting live from Boca Ciega Bay behind the historic Golfport Casino and it's crashed out pier. It's June 1st guys, first sunrise of the hurricane season. It's time to get ready if you're not ready already. Today we're talking about ways that we can keep the lights on, keep the phones charged, and keep the computers running. Let's go. I think we all pretty much figured out through this last experience that it takes a long time for stuff to come back online. This utility pole here is still sitting in a puddle leaning on a tree. I don't think it has any wires on it, but the moral of the story is your power is not going to come on instantly. And you might not be at your house when the power goes out. It's already weird staying at someone else's house. Imagine staying there with your whole family and all your pets and now there's no electricity. This solution is not only reliable, but it's portable so you can bring it with you and not worry about burdening your friend or relative's generator or battery packs. The solution is lightweight, compact, and very affordable if you're already in the Milwaukee M18 family. My brother brought one of these over after the storm and he had a Milwaukee brand one. I think it was like $70. It's an amazingly simple design that comes with everything you need on it. It's got the USB ports right on the back so you can plug your phone right in, get in touch with family, see if happy hour is still going on this week or this year or this decade. You got one plug on the front that'll run 200 watts. There's a lot of things you can run for 200 watts, guys. Just check it out. All the Milwaukee stuff is super expensive, so I figured I'd give this generic one a try. And this one's actually pretty impressive. It weighs about the same, has a little bit of a smaller footprint. It has an included type C on there, as well as the regular USB 2s. Has a cooling fan in the back for if she gets worked. The name brand battery slides into it nice and easy. And a feature this one has that the other one didn't have is a built-in light. Now, I don't see the volleyball girls. Which is pretty impressive because one of the things I was plugging into this was a light. So we already eliminated the need for one more corded item so we can plug in one more vital thing. Fun fact about me, I'm a sailor. I just don't play one on YouTube. I did it for the queen. But if you know anything about shipmates, we love our installed systems. All my shipmates, give me a capital E down in the comments. But these installed systems are things that we're already using at our house like our Govi lights. These things use no power at all. Right now I'm in my son's room because this is our designated kind of holdout room. It's an interior room of the house. It's sort of shielded uh, on the window side. It only has one window. It's a window we could egress out of easy because we can step right onto the air conditioner unit and hop over a short picket fence that's there and have access to either the alley or the street. These are things to think about, guys. Zephyr Paratus. But what I'm getting at is these Govi lights run all the way around the ring of his room. So those are going to be our lights when the power goes out. And let me show you how quickly we can set this up. Oh no, the power just went out. I can't see a thing. Quick, grab the battery pack. All right, I know where it is. I kept it in the room. Here, I'm gonna use the emergency light to go find the Govi plug. Oh, I found it. Plugged it in. I'm gonna aim this up here so I can find the button. Energizing Govi lights. Now I know I poked a little bit of fun at that, but that can be an extremely terrifying situation if you're not prepared or practice, guys, practice doing this. You should have your kid be able to do that because daddy's out back lugging the generator around and mommy is quickly moving frozen water bottles into a cooler.
I think running the amp alone is like a cool enough reason to buy that just if you wanted to like go play in parks or go gig. But if you had some buddies that played music, I mean, what a great way to spend a power outage. Get a couple of those things powering fans. And man, what a good time. According to uh, my AI assistant, Tammy, we could get about 2.4 hours. That's a little 25 watt amp, which isn't really bad out of that battery. This thing's got some juice. So imagine how long it can power those little tiny govies that use like five watts. We're talking a real long time. The only real limitations to this system is really that it's just 200 watts, but it actually ends up helping you because one of the biggest issues with electricity as a whole, and this is why like electric cars are gonna be a challenge, is it's just power distribution. And once you do a little experiment called create your own power and power your house for a little bit, you realize kind of how much trouble this is. You have one generator set up outside, you know, somewhere where the wind's blowing the uh, dangerous fumes, carbon monoxide and all that away from your family, right? It's not in the garage. And then you have feet of cables and extension cords running through windows, letting mosquitoes in, all of it, right? Well, with this, everyone can just have their own on their nightstand. And then during the day, you run the gen and you charge up all these batteries. So it eliminates the power distribution need, which is why I really like this. You can put them where you need them and you can move them around. I really hope that these tips helped you guys out and they might get you out of a jimmy during this hurricane season. Everything ain't nothing but a thing as long as you're prepared both physically and mentally, guys. Check out the links in the description below for this product. If there's anything else you wanna see, let me know down in the comments. If you're liking this, hit that like button, let the world know so more people can see this video. Thanks a lot and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Yeah. Trying to be. Uh -huh. yeah. I'ma call you right back, bro. I'm about to do this dance. It's called the Uli. If y'all wanna join, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Woo. Yeah. Look. First you do your cat daddy, then you drop it down. Let me see what you're working, girl, with the round. Hit the fucking Uli. Let me see what you can do with the Uli, too. First you hit the nene, then you hit the bop. Everybody going, quick carrier on the block. Maybe.